And we're live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to another rousing edition of WWT Wrestling with Trivia. I'm your host, JPO, Jordan Pierce Owens. I'm joined by a couple of wrestling lovers who are making the debut in the wrestling trivia arena. First off, you've seen him maybe on the movie channel here. Now he's joining us for the first time on the wrestling one. Ladies and gentlemen, he's always DTM. It's Rick. How you guys doing? And his opponent here making his debut in the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the one, the only, Jacob. Hi, guys. <laughs> He's a friendly giant. Rick I can do the music music. His friend Jacob. Jacob represents Bray Wyatt, and I'm with a Ricochet t-shirt. There we go. Ooh, all good. Rick representing me. I appreciate that. Yeah. I do own a Rick shirt. I should have worn that. Damn it. You had your chance. I went up to you. I'm already one up. You did. Uh, Rick 12, was working point. 12 points to Rick. All right. <laughs> Question number one. I'm looking for three names here. Three names. Why? Because I want to know the three men that comprised 3MB, three-man band. Hornswoggle does not count. Not looking for him. <laughs> the unofficial 3.5 member. Just a three man man. I am in. Rick yep. is in. And yeah, whenever you're done, just let me know. Uh, Jacob, Rick, what you got? Who's going first? Drew, Alrighty. Heath, and Jinder. What do you got, Jacob? Ditto, ditto, ditto. All right. Just lovely, lovely points on the board to both men. One to one here. Question number two Andre the Giant. Won the WWF Tag Team Titles in 1989 with who? Andre the Giant. 1989, before I was even in this world. Same. God, thanks for making me feel old. Wait, did you, say 90? you didn't say 99, did you? No, 89. 99. 99. I don't think Andre was, uh, well, not long ago. Sure <laughs> Get all vulgar here. <laughs> I'm gonna change my answer. Oh, I'm Rick going with the change here. Let's see if it will pay off. Okay, uh, I'm in. Jacob, what you got? Uh, total stab in the dark, Mr. Fuji. <laughs> going with Fuji, Rick. You went with. Ted DiBiase, Rick, I'm afraid to say, I'm pretty sure. What did you have before? Haku. You should have stuck, man. It was Haku. Oh, <laughs> you should have stuck with your original guess on that one. Yes. I get a moral victory because of ethnicity, but you know. <laughs> uh, question number three, another tag team question here. Looking for both two names now. Who were known as the Natural Disasters? I've met one of them and have his action figure signed. I've met him several times. He's a Florida Florida guy, so he pops up every once in a while. I'll look over and go, oh, is that so-and-so? All right, Rick, who do you got? First Earthquake question. and Typhoon. Jacob? Same. Earthquake and Typhoon. Yes, indeed. Two points now. For Bear both. with me with the, the Zoom call. I, this is my first Zoom call. Oh, dog. This Jacob's is my first Zoom call. Debut on Zoom. I had day. Skype all set up on my laptop with a microphone, and he's like, you send me a Zoom link, and I'm like, motherfuck. Oof. So I downloaded Zoom. Usually I let people know. Actually, that's not true. About 50-50 of the time, I remember to let people know how we play this. <laughs> but you oh, never well. asked, so I never told. <laughs> exactly. That's how I roll. I'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, it's Typhoon. I've met him several times. He's a very nice man. <laughs> Number four, who cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase on Randy Orton in 2010? 2010, who cashed in on Randy Orton? Both men here. Hope you can read. Two yeah. for two. Uh, uh, Will someone gain the lead here on question four? Aren't we two for three? Yes. Oh, yeah, out of questions, yes, yes. 
pure guess. No one knew Andre's partner. Well, we kind of knew it, but then. <laughs> Jacob, what yeah, do you got? Yeah, man, you got to go with your instinct. Jacob, what do you got? Oh, I have dumb is. What do you go with, Rick? CM Punk, it was indeed the Miz. Jacob bumping up to three to two now. All right, Rick, here's a little bit of a movie wrestling one here for you. So let's see how you do on this one. I want you to name at least three wrestlers who appeared in the movie McGruber. I'm being nice here. This is an amazing scene. There is six possible names. I'm just looking for three, so... I'm just looking for half the wrestlers that were in this movie. Oh, I think this third one is a stretch. Uh oh. I might I might be I might be two for three, but we'll see. He knows I bet you we have I bet you we have the same two because I'm trying to think of a third one. <laughs> There's six of them, guys. I was being nice. Oh, no, that's the worst part. Um I was being nice, I thought. But I was gonna say five at one point. There's a couple I forgot about, too. After I looked at the photos, I was like, oh, yeah, he was in that group, too. <laughs> I'm going to pull a okay. rip. I'm going to change my answer Ooh. on the last one. It might bite me in the arse. Ooh, let's see. Will the change pay up for Jacob? We'll find out. I have a, I'm in. All right, Rick, what you got? You went with Jericho, Kali, uh, and Chris Masters. I want to see what Jacob got now. Uh, Kali, Henry. I had Jericho, Kali, but I put MVP. Henry and MVP. Well, uh, either way, Jacob, you were fine, and only you get the point. No Chris Masters, unfortunately. Uh, I thought for answer, sure we had Kali and Henry. Acceptable answers were Big Show. He's actually the only one that lives because uh, <laughs> he doesn't recruit him. MVP, Kane, Great Kali, Mark Henry, and Chris Jericho. Those were the acceptable answers here. Number six, who was Shawn Michaels, the greatest wrestler of all time? Not debatable. First manager. In the WWE, just in case he had a manager somewhere else. Did <laughs> you say manager or editor? Manager. Who, editor? What? <laughs> who editor? Yeah, that's why. Well, he's got, he's got two books. I was making sure. I oh, okay. It. Yeah, okay. I guess, yeah. I was also thinking maybe like editor in like the truck, like Kevin Dunn or something. <laughs> like, oh, sure. <laughs> now, who's his first manager? In the WWF, I think overall, but just just in case I'm wrong. I have something. All right, I, I think, have butchered the spelling here. I think we're both in. Jacob, what you got? Oh, uh, sensational Sherry Martell. All right, what do you got, Drake? I put magnificent Sherry. Is that close enough? <laughs> yeah, I, can't I don't want to be that guy, Jacob. What do you say? I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> Oh, totally. I knew what he was talking about. All right. I would usually say no, but Jacob's a nice guy. <laughs> Five to Thank three. You. Thank you. That's your, that's your, it's your, uh, your, your freebie because of the shirt. Fair. <laughs> yes. Buying a shirt paid off. All right. <laughs> Who became <laughs> the WWE world and the ECW world champion at the same time? Oh, sh- One match, he walked away with both titles. I can't catch my straw. Too bad. I'm in. Rick is in like sin. All right, Rick, what you got? The big show. Big show. Jacob. I have uh, RVD. And then I put from Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm sorry, Rick, but it was Rob Van Dam. That's uh, Battle Creek is. 20 miles away from me. It's also a TV show with Josh Dumel. Uh, <laughs> one, one season, I believe. But uh, yeah, on the uh, first one night stand, he defeated John Cena to become the first WWE CW champion and then also John Cena's world title. Only time he held the ECW title. A lot of people associate RVD with ECW but never had it in the actual ECW. <laughs> Who was under the mask Golga in the WWF? Oddities member Golga, who was under that mask? Uh, I hope this counts. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, don't know if it will. I don't remember his name. I'm trying to think of his name, too. <laughs> we, we both know it's a male. 
I mean, I, I didn't confirm that. <laughs> That's true. Penis it was... is subjective. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jacob, what you got this time? Uh, earthquake. What you got, Rick? Dude, my, my hand was brutal. John Senta Earthquake? Okay, oh, yeah, it was Earthquake. Oh, we mentioned it before. Yeah, seven. Tenta, isn't it? Four. Uh, What's his name? Tenta. 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 John Tenta. Tenta. Yeah, but Earthquake was perfectly really fine. As long as so, you know who you're talking about. And it was because he lost a ton of weight. They didn't think people would recognize him. And I think they were just giving him a bone, to be honest with you. I think they had a weird sure. image. And I was like, you're a nice guy. Uh, <laughs> Go hang out with the insane clown posse. Yeah, I really think it was just that. <laughs> uh, who was the first to win the King of the Ring, the Royal Rumble, and Money in the Bank? The first person that can say they won all three. Can I go through your Rolodex here? Your King of the Rings, your Rumble winners, your briefcase holders. Many men have won those matches. Oh, oh. Who's the first one that can say they won all three? Mine's a guess. Race guessing. Rick, what you guessing? Shane was. What you guessing? Edge. Edge. It was indeed the rated R superstar Edge. Eight to four here. Sheamus is a good one because uh, well, I don't know. did Sheamus win King of the Ring? He did, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, but did he win Money? In the I don't Bank? know if he ever won Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah he won. Like... Yeah, he won Money. Well, no, I don't know if he won. Yeah, he he won uh the Royal Rumble in. Yeah, he's definitely a Rumble winner. Because he's Money, he's money in the Bank may be the one you're missing. He or cashed in Money in the Bank on Reigns. All right, question number ten here. Speaking of the rated R star, Hoover star Edge, who did he defeat in his final match at WrestleMania before returning this year? So the last match he had before the retirement. I'm in. Yep. And, and Jacob, what you got? El Puerto del Rio. Alberto del Rio is correct. Nine. Five here, as we are more than halfway done now. Question eleven, though, who Did set a record? Huh? Did Rick answer? Yeah, yeah, he said he showed it. Okay. You. you both no, had I just, the, the screen must not have flipped over because I was oh. like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I can I can just see in his mind he had the right answer. Uh, no, yeah, he did. Uh, Lord Rio was oh, neat. Yeah. Both of you had it. Who set a record as sixteen month long? WWF Tag Team Champions. A record, I believe, that still holds to this day. Now, I did help you by saying WWF, so you know it's before May of 2002. Oh, shizzle. Was it the Spirit Squad? I don't know. <laughs> they are former champions. Rick looking to the heavens for help. Jacob's in. All right, I got it. All right, Rick, what you got? Demolition. Demolition. Jacob. Yep. Demolition is indeed what I was looking for. Jacob getting to the double digits here. Rick to number six. Number 12, The Shield. Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins faced Kane. And what tag team at WrestleMania 30? The first time, I think this was the Shield's first mania. They faced and defeated Kane and what tag team? In a relatively short match, too, if I remember. And they're definitely, they're, they're a tag team, too, so it's not a trick question. They're definitely known as a tag team. Hmm. 
I got nothing. <laughs> Don't got even a guess? <laughs> what were you writing down? <laughs> I was going to say Miz and Morrison, but that's definitely not right. Hey, hey, ho, ho. What you got, Jacob? <laughs> new Age Outlaws? Indeed, Billy and the Road Dog, the new Age Outlaws. Question, uh, or sorry, point number 11 before we get to six here. Uh, I think they're last Mania match, too, sadly enough. They only give them like three minutes, something like that. <laughs> Question at number 13. Speaking of the thumbs up guy, what is Trent <laughs> Reddit's mom's name? <laughs> if Rick gets this wrong, he has to mail me his OC shirt. It's a new, new rule. It's not, it's not happening. Come on. <laughs> I don't have that one. I want it. <laughs> All right. All right. What you got, Jacob? Nope. Martha. 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 Sorry. Uh, Rick. <laughs> Deb. Deb. It's Rick. I'll send you my address. Mail me that shirt whenever you're ready. Sue. Sue, man. <laughs> Ortiz and Tantana talked about it. They trashed her, man. Oh, man. Thought I was helping <laughs> you out with that question. <laughs> Told you I'm behind. That, I'm pretty sure that happened, has happened already. It's it continued. It that did. continues, though. It um, happened already. <laughs> All right, a couple more AEW questions. John Moxley faced who in a lights out match at Fighter Fest? The first one, for clarification. John Moxley versus who in a lights out match at the first Fighter Fest? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh. Rick, Rick changing it up again. Yeah, I'm probably wrong again. <laughs> it's probably whatever the first one was. Butcher the spelling. That's fine. As long as I know you're talking, I know you know who you're talking about. We're not a spelling. Let's say Nazis. Can we still say spelling Nazis? That's not apropos anymore. <laughs> I do, Jamal. All right, Rick, what you got? Joey Janela. Uh, the bad boy, Jacob. Same. It was indeed the bad boy. And I believe both of you got the spelling right, too. So. Nice. Hey. 12 to 7 here, going on to question number 15. Once again, AEW, who are numbers three and four in the Dark Order? Both men not looking totally uh, for sure on this one. One of them I consider a friend. <laughs> not that that helps you guys, but... <laughs> Poor Dark Order. They never get the respect they deserve. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Rick? Oh, this is a fun guess. Bob Hope and Joe Martinez. How'd you know? <laughs> I have Stu Grayson and seven. Does one uh, uh, seven? What? That's just a seven number. is four. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's the Dark uh, Order. Uh, Stu Grayson's not a bad idea. He obviously is a member of the Dark Order along with Evil Uno. But three and four are John Silver. And Alex Reynolds is the names I was looking for. Shout out to Alex Reynolds. I don't think he watches, but still. Uh, <laughs> number 16. What other former wrestler? Hey, it's another movie question, Rick. What other former wrestler was in the movie The Condemned with Stone Cold Steve Austin? It's not Bob Hope. Can, can I just say who was in The Condemned 2 instead? Oh, uh, God. You can say it. You can say it whatever you want. I can get you a point, but you can totally say it. <laughs> what is the condemned to? Is it uh, is that is it Orton? Yeah. yeah. All right. I get confused because they there's so many sequels and twelve rounds yeah. three with yeah Ambrose and oh twelve really? rounds with Randy Orton. I hate it. All right. I have an incorrect guess. All right, uh, <laughs> Jacob. What you thinking? Uh, Nathan Jones. What you got, Rick? King. It was indeed Nathan Jones. Dang. Yeah, uh, I think he's the first dude Stone Cold kills to get into the competition. <laughs> and uh, not a long career for Nathan Jones in the WWE, but uh, still counts. Right. Number 17, who was the first TNA X Division champion?
I have something. <laughs> Where was <laughs> you at? AJ Styles, what you got, Jacob? Hey, yo. Same it was thing. indeed the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Yay! Educated guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. 14 into 8 here. Number 18, instead of the Inferno match, what was the name given to the Bray Wyatt versus Kane match from SummerSlam 2013? I think Jacob was writing before I even finished that sentence. (laughs) (laughs) That watch me be fucking wrong. Bray Wyatt versus Kane, SummerSlam 2013. It was pretty much an Inferno match, but they called it something else. Why? I don't know. I think they just like to give different names for hype. Makes sense. Yeah. You know, greatest the wrestling match ever. You'll never see it coming. They love gimmicks. Of course. Gets the people going. Uh, and, and it annoys me. But <laughs> <laughs> I, have the incorrect, I have the incorrect answer. I'm ready. All right, Jacob, what you got? Let's see if it's correct or incorrect. Uh, Ring of Fire. Uh, a burning ring of fire. Hey, you both pulled it out. Look at that. 59. Two more questions here. Let's go on to the world of NXT at TakeOver Toronto. DIY, Gargano, and Ciampa faced the Others of Pain, Akim and Razar, and what kind of match? TakeOver Toronto, DIY versus AOP, and what M-A-T-C-H? I like me some initials. Some Spalin. Spalin? Oh, man. All right, well, we got, uh, we got Rick. Shark cage Shark match? cage match. It should have been. Every match should be. Jacob? Two out of three falls. falls. It was actually a two out of three falls shark cage match. So if you guys are just no, uh, <laughs> I was looking for ladder, ladder ladder match is what they had at Takeover Toronto. Number twenty could be a hard one. <laughs> looking for a year. What year did Ric Flair win his first world title? Jesus. So you know that I just found this in the Dollar Tree. Uh, Nature Boy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I have that. that. Yeah, yeah Jacob, special. Jacob found that for me. No, I was very happy. He found it uh, today. I was like, score. All right. Hold on. I'm, ch- I'm second guessing myself. Oh, no. Fuck it. All right. All right. What year? All right. What you got, Rick? 78. <laughs> Love you, Jacob. I mean, I guess I got no respect, but that's fine. Jacob? I have 74. No, you guys went a little too early. He debuted in 72. He didn't win a title until 1981. 1981 oh. is when he won that first world title. Okay, uh, cool. I had, I, had, I had 83 written down, so I would have been wrong either way. Uh, uh, thank you. I mean, I kind of guilt tripped you into it, but thanks. Thanks. <laughs> right, now to our final scores here. Jacob getting 15 points, rocking it today here. Rick, very respectable debut as well, getting nine points here on the board of WWT Wrestling with Travia. Uh, Jacob, any any parting words for our lovely viewing audience here? Uh, no, are we done? Uh, at, at the moment, yeah. <laughs> okay, all okay. right. Yeah, no, th- thank you so much for having me. I blessed. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. We'll be happy back. If you're interested, uh, hit me up on the interwebs. Oh, uh, absolutely. Maybe I can figure out the zoom on my laptop so you don't stare up at my chins all day. <laughs> That's what I do. I do I do a laptop. And then you can have fun backgrounds. Uh, right, exactly. Uh, unless you're on a normal one. I think if you're on a MacBook, it doesn't work. I don't know. That's what I've been told. Uh, Rick, any parting words here for the uh, viewing audience of WWT? Go check out Jacob's channel, J2H. He just uploaded a sick WWE wrestling pickup video with like 30 titles. So go check out his channel, youtube.com slash J2H. I'll be checking that out. I'll I'll give you a good subscribe ski and uh, check out that video. Thanks for the plugs, both of you. Absolutely. Rick DTM, Jacob, his channel. Check them both out, guys. I'm JPO. Uh, Like, subscribe, do the bell, write a letter, tell me you love me, all the usual YouTube stuff. 
Uh, yeah, this was a WTT wrestling or WWT. I don't know. It's one of those shows. I'm Jordan saying thanks. <laughs> Have a great night. <laughs>